I hold this ball to the point where I can basically get to that next level, get those linebackers to commit to the quarterback before I pitch out. Then when you just, when I do that, you can see there's nothing but space out here. Even with everyone down in the box like this and the safety's coming, you can see how this 0-1 trap just blows open a huge hole and I'm just walking. There's, there's five yards to the left of me, five yards to the right of me, and nothing but space going straight down the center of the field. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot. Sniff of the Man. She's always got a new offense for you guys today, or at least the start of a new offense. Today, I'm going to be going over a new offense from a new playbook that I really haven't touched on much this year. I've been doing it more and more recently, and that's the Kansas City Chiefs. So I know that's one of the meta playbooks, and that's a you know a playbook that a lot of people are using. I have put out a few offenses. I put out a full offense to break down out of the wing flex. Close is one of my favorite. Has one of the uh, glitchier run plays in the game, which is also a pro favorite out of the pre which is also a pro favorite out of the speed option. This entire formation to me is one of the better uh, formations to use. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys can catch that offense. But today I'm be going a little bit off meta because I think that's something that people like about my channel is the off meta stuff. And I'm gonna start off with a brand new scheme out of the Flex Y off week. Now this particular video is just gonna be the run plays. So if you guys wanna see uh, some pass plays tomorrow or a full offensive breakdown of this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I do have a pass play that home runs every single defense Woo! of the game as always. You know, you guys know what I like to do. So hit the like button if you guys want to see that tomorrow. Now I'm going to start off by showing you guys uh, my four play setup and my audibles like I always do. The star of this video is going to be the shovel option. This is a very rare, very glitchy play. I'm going to show you guys how to run this to perfection. Uh, you can notice that this particular play is all going in one direction. The, the, the shovel pass to the running back or, I'm sorry, the shovel pass to the tight end or the shovel... The shovel pass to the tight end or the flip to the running back are all going to the left. That's why the next run plays uh, are going to be so important because they're basically going in the opposite direction, which is going to make this a very tricky run play scheme to stop. So the RPO zone peak, you really have a choice. You have the RPO zone peak or you could go uh, with the RPO power peak. They're both very good plays. I like the zone peak better. Uh, I think that's a little bit better to run outside, but if you want to run inside, you can run the uh, the power peak as well, uh, which is also in, these, in the audible options. And then you have a really good inside run, which is the L1 trap the owen trap obviously is always very good uh, i also have a choice of another play which i can choose to either be the slip screen which i'm going to go over or you also have a pa jailbreak screen i'll show you guys all these plays if i have time in this video if not they'll all be on my patreon on my join out community tab for the fifth play i think we'll go with the rpo power peak like i said i'll probably show you six run plays but let's go with that first and then on the defensive side we're just going to go random nickel now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and sports channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's guaranteed to always be the cheapest coins in the market. Or you can actually get 6% off. They're running a year-long uh, promo where you can use discount code EMAIL and get 6% off any of the products on their store. So the number one play is the shovel option. This is the star of this video. This is the reason I'm making this particular video. Uh, it's all about the running back to me. I mean, you can keep with the quarterback, and I'm going to be doing something with the quarterback that makes this play a little bit harder to stop. But ultimately, you really have the option. It's going to be left bumper for running back, right bumper for tight end. I don't really find it really makes a lot of sense to ever pitch to the tight end, but you see you can, you can do that. The shovel option, you see that most used in the NFL is short yardage situations. You can see right there, I did get that short yardage. Um, you know, if, that, if I was trying to get a first down or something like that, I did get that. But ultimately, this is something where I feel like when you're pitching it towards the center like that, you can see how you could have uh, a lot of issues. So to me, if I'm running this and I'm trying to get short yardage, it's best just to basically basically use a quarterback uh, that has you know some ability to just basically run straight forward because a lot of times uh, it gives you that option you don't have to run the direction that the run play is running so if you're looking for short yardage that might be the best way to go but ultimately like I said this play all about the running back all about the pitch to the running back uh, which you can see I don't actually have to throw it to the running back if they don't cover that you know what I mean a lot of times the defender will hesitate like that and you keep with the quarterback which is something that's going to be very difficult um, for you know it's the easiest read in the world I mean ultimately you're just kind of watching uh if this if this guy you know basically crashes in or not like i said if i was running this with a super fast quarterback you can see that might have been a touchdown by lamar jackson you can see how they're not really covering that very well this entire play the running back or the quarterback does not get covered very well but ultimately my goal is to pitch it out to the running back if i had that opportunity now right there that was probably the best pursuit that was actually the worst run considering that they you know they pursued pretty well in the running back but that's really part of the job of the quarterback is to take on as many defenders as possible before you pitch that ball out so let's watch the replay here as you can see here once again everybody's come my way we have the two middle linebackers come my way this defender stops i hold this ball 
to the point where I can basically get to that next level, get those linebackers to commit to the quarterback before I pitch out. Then when you just, when I do that, you can see there's nothing but space out here. This is a 10 to 15 yard carry every single time. If I have a fast running back, I just pitch that running back and run to space. We're going to do that one more time. Like I said, this play, I don't think I've highlighted just how glitchy this play can be. I find for whatever reason that if you do something with the quarterback, you can actually draw more attention before you get that pitch out. As you can see right there, I tried to do a little bit of a hurdle. So to recap, you have the tight end, which is an option, but it's really all about the quarterback and the running back. As you can see right there, he commits. I get it out. I don't really have a great running back, but I'm getting 15 to 20 yards just about every single time I run this. Now, obviously, you can't keep running this play over and over because eventually your opponent's going to recognize the formation. And they're going to start, um, you know, basically usering or pinching or shifting or whatever, setting up the defense to try to stop this play. But you have a really good counter play, which in my opinion is going to be the zone peak. You also have the power peak, which I picked. But ultimately, the zone peak to me is like the best option based off the fact that this is more like a stretch run to the other side. So you can see the block is going to hold up a lot better. And you can have explosive runs in both directions if your opponent starts doing that. It's really up to you, though, whether you like the zone peak or the power peak. Here it looks like we have a, uh, a blitz coming. So I'm definitely going to go with the zone peak because I do feel like this is going to be one of the better stretch runs to the outside. Like I said, that there, the blocking just holds up a little bit better. You can see we had a, a serious blitz. And I'm shocked that I didn't get a touchdown. To be honest with you, the cornerback came from all the way to the other side of the field. But you can see how you can have explosive runs in both directions. Like right here, my, my tight end is outside of their widest box defender. This is a perfect opportunity to go the opposite way, just as long as those blocks hold up. And you can see we're running into a star player who's uh, got off that block pretty quick in Judon. That's about the only thing you got to worry about. But pretty much anytime my tight end is outside of their widest, uh, you know, box defender, I probably can get outside, man. That's a superstar, Matthew Judon. That's going to be a little bit harder. But ultimately, uh, that's a really good play. Now, here we have no real gaps. This is something where um, if I want to try to switch over to Owen Trap, that's probably going to be one of the better runs. I find this has a lot of success against defenses like this that have no gaps at the, at the alignment. It works best against defenses with gaps, but I also find that a lot of times it can really find space where there's not a lot of opportunity otherwise. The Owen Trap is going to work better against something like this. We have a little bit more spacing. Even though we have a double safety blitz coming down the box, you can see how that spacing and the, the, the way the blocks come around, it's going to create a lot of space up the middle. Even with everyone down the box like this and the safety's coming, you can see how this Owen Trap just blows open a huge huge hole and I'm just walking there's there's five yards to the left of me five yards to the right of me and nothing but space going straight down the center of the field so that's it that's a bit like I said if you guys want to see more from this scheme I got to play tomorrow out of this game the home runs every single defense of the game if you want to see that that's on my patreon my join our community tab right now but if you want to see that on YouTube tomorrow hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you!